What's up guys? Good morning. I haven't vlogged in quite some time, so yeah, I thought I would do one today. Um, yeah, usually I do these when I'm like in my competition prep because um, I guess that's like fun to like see when I'm in, you know, improvement season. It's a little boring, um, but yeah, I thought today I would just kind of um, show you what I do on a normal day, like in my improvement season, like foods I'm eating, mindset stuff, my training. Yeah, so we'll get into that. Um, obviously, woke up this morning, had a coffee, did some schoolwork, and now I'm about to go take Zima on a walk. So let's go do that. This is how I found her this morning. You comfortable? I am out here walking Zima. I do get a lot of questions asking like, oh, do you do cardio during your, you know, improvement season or whatever? And honestly, not really. I don't, you know, I don't have like this certain amount of cardio that I need to be doing, you know, every week. Um, honestly, I kind of like if I am going to go do some cardio, like on a, a machine or something like that, it's just because I wanted to do it. Like maybe I um, went out um, that week and I had like a big meal or maybe had a few drinks of alcohol and I just need, you know, I definitely like went over my macros. I needed to burn, you know, some calories, but that's, a, that's like really it. Um, yeah, I don't really have like this assigned sessions that I do every single, you know, every week or whatever. Cause I actually like cardio. I actually like doing um, cardio like in prep. Um, so I have nothing like, I don't like hate it or whatever. All I do is I just make sure I'm staying like active, okay? Like that's really all I I do because I work from home. You know, I have, I have clients, I have bikini clients, I have lifestyle, um, I do posing sessions, um, I do online school as well. So yeah, I'm literally like sitting at my desk most of my day and I do have a standing desk too. I did purchase one of those because um, it's healthier to stand, but um, yeah, so what I do is I, I make sure I'm staying active, which is walking Zima right here, and I just get my steps in. So walking is actually very healthy, you know, for you. It's not gonna affect your recovery. It's not um, super stressful on the body or anything like that. So what I do is I just make sure I get my steps in. So as of right now, I try to get at least, you know, 6,000 steps a day and mostly it's mostly 6,000 I try to get at least eight like I try to get 8,000 a day but sometimes it's six um, but that's really it you know so, I mean going on these walks with Zima we have like these two ponds that, I, that I'm walking around right now um, so I'll go in the morning and then I'll go at night and right now it's like it's nine o'clock and it's already so freaking hot right now in Florida. Like I'm already like sweating to death. It's insane. I probably need to go a little earlier. Um, but yeah, at night I go around like seven or eight and it's like perfect, perfect weather out. Yeah, and to be it, that's really it. You know, some some days when I'm feeling it, I'll like I'll do, you know, a cardio session. No longer than like 30 minutes. Come on, Zima. 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 Yeah, no longer than like 30 minutes. Um, and I just get my steps in, so I make sure I get my ass up and get moving because, yeah, like I actually have all my athletes, you know, count their steps too, especially if they're like in bikini prep. Um, I have them, you know, I make sure every single one of them has like a step count that I like, I want them to try to hit. Um, yeah, I have one client, I make her hit like 10K a day, just because when you are, when you are dieting, you become a lazy, 
lazy person just because you know you have less calories in you and you want to lay around more so I like force my girls to get moving you know I, I force them to keep moving because hey maybe your calories don't have to drop get dropped as low and um, when I was thinking about my last competition prep yeah my carbs and my calories had to get pretty low and I remember like yeah of course they had to get so low I became like <laughs> like really lazy like I literally did not do anything to be honest like I sat around a lot so yeah that's why my coach he he had to drop my calories and he had to give me you know a lot, a lot of cardio sessions to do and yeah I just wish I, I would have like realized that and um, if I just you know was was doing more energy expenditure throughout the day my calories and probably didn't have to get as low and he wouldn't have had to give me like so much cardio yeah, so if you're in off season like me, I just recommend um, staying active. Um, yeah, just count your steps. Literally get up in the morning, go on a walk. Um, you know, I just listened to a podcast. I mean, it's so beautiful like out here. So I really don't mind this at all. Like, yeah, I'd rather much go on walks like this than have to. Oh my God, I think there's a storm coming. All right. I have to hurry home but I would rather much go on walks like this and like force myself to go do like a cardio session so yeah I just I put on a podcast listen to music I walk Zima and it's pretty pretty nice so yeah just be active even on the weekends go on a hike or something like that um, but that's really it I mean when I used to live in Colorado I used to go on hikes like every single weekend but now um, I just go on walks and thank God my like facility has these these walkways because I wouldn't really know what to do so yeah walk around your neighborhood you know if you're at work when you're on like lunch break or whatever just you know eat a meal and then like yeah just go on like a 10 minute walk like around um, wherever your work is you know so yeah So yeah, a little update on me and my improvement season. Um, yeah, I think it's been like six, definitely deep into off season now. It's been like six months coming up here, I think in like the end of June or something like that, um, or July or something. But yeah, um, I just wanted to say one thing about improvement season because I get a lot of people like messaging me talking about like, how I'm handling it so well and that I'm that I'm still like they think I'm, I'm still lean which I'm not really anymore now um, but it's just like as of right now I am NOT afraid to put on weight it's like for me I really need to put on this weight um, right now like my stage weight was around 120 and now I'm I'm like hovering around like 140 ish, and yeah, that's a, a 20 pound, you know, that's a 20 pound increase here. Um, so what what I was saying here is that yes, my stage weight is like 120, and I would feel like if I was a lifestyle person, I would love to stick around 130. Like 130 is my my happy spot. You know, it's it's where I feel comfortable in my physique. I feel comfortable in a bathing suit, but right now, um, I'm pushing it. Like I I'm up to 140 now, and it's because I need to put on weight. I need to put on muscle. I need to put on tissue. And that means I need to gain weight. It really does. Um, especially as a natural competitor like me, I have to do these types of things. You know, I, um, I have such a short amount of time to put on muscle, like only a year. And <clears throat> that's why I'm, I'm really pushing my weight. Um, I'm probably going to get up to 145 and and probably stay there for a few months just so that tissue you know can really stay on my body here 
but just like in prep you know there's there's uncomfortable times in prep there's uncomfortable times where it gets tough and definitely during an improvement season and an off season there's going to be some uncomfortable times like as of right now um i'm not yeah i'm pushing it i'm pushing my weight yeah i'm fluffy i'm kind of uncomfortable in my body i don't have that summer physique um but i need to do this i need to push the weight to put on the muscle um yeah i could have stayed 10 pounds above my stage weight around 130 and and have like this good looking physique all year round but could i have really put on muscle like that much muscle like i am putting on right now being like 20 pounds up um probably not like if i was around 130 i probably wouldn't you know i still wouldn't feel maybe that recovered from my past competition prep um so yeah that, that's where I'm, I'm saying with all of this i mean at the end of the day i am a bodybuilder and i want to put on some mass I'm taking a one year and i only have a year to put on muscle so and it takes a long time to do that and that's why i'm pushing the calories i'm pushing the weight right now and I'm gonna stay here for a while. Yeah, and that's just like where my mindset is right now with the whole thing. Um, guys, I'm really happy right now. Like, I'm so happy. I'm actually, like, I'm really happy in my physique. I'm lifting hard as heck in the gym. Um, and what I was thinking about the other day is, you know, when, when you're super lean for stage and you're super sh shredded, are you even that much more happier? Like I was kind of thinking, I'm like, I'm actually like the same amount of happiness. Like, yeah, I'm not like more happy being super shredded and lean. And like, to be honest, I, I, I think I'm like the same happiness. So just like put that in perspective too. Um, like we, we just got to be happy. We got to be happy in our physiques because... Yeah, like for me, being a competitor, like I'm just, just saying that, like being super stage lean and super shredded and having shredded abs doesn't make me any more happier as a person. Like I'm the same for sure. Like I'm the same happiness as when I was completely shredded and lean and I'm the same happiness like right now. Um, so, you know, having abs and stuff like that isn't gonna make you more happy. So I'm just saying that out right now, you know? Um, and yeah, so that's just where my head is at right now in my improvement season. Yes, it's summer. Yes, I wish I was, you know, 10 pounds lighter right now just to look really good in a swimsuit or whatever. But I have goals. I have goals on putting on muscle this year and it's going to take me being a little bit uncomfortable in my physique to, to do so. Oh, and I was going to do like a physique update this morning, but um, I am currently on my menstrual cycle. So yeah, just super bloated. I don't, I feel really puffy too, like in my face today and just like my body in general. So um, yeah, just not really feeling up for doing like a physique update, but I will definitely soon because I do want to be open and I want to show you what, you know, a competitor like me looks like in my improvement season, like just what my physique looks like because every time like I did physique updates, like I was completely shredded and lean. Like if you look back on my last videos, like here on YouTube, it's just like, holy shit i was completely shredded <laughs> so um i do not look like that at all right now definitely you know 20 pounds up so it looks completely different um but yeah i'm gonna do that like another day just because again i am on my menstrual cycle so just like feeling bloated um but yeah i can show you what i use to track my menstrual cycle i don't have um I don't take birth control. I did for a while. I took birth control. I had like the rod in my arm. I did have a copper IDU, IDU at one point of time, but I don't know. I just, I hate all of that stuff. Um, it messes with my physique in a way and it messes with my like head and 
I don't know, makes me moody, all, all just hormones in general. So now I just track my period on an app. So I track it on Clue. It's an app and I can show you what that looks like. And see, it just, this is my whole cycle. This is when I'm fertile and I'm on my period right now, day two. And this, it, it, it tracks your whole cycle. So I actually have like a 38 day cycle, which is pretty long. <laughs> I get my period every 38 days. There we go. Tells you when you're fertile. So this is when I could get pet pregnant. So just had a few posing um, calls. If you want help with bikini posing, please just shoot me an email. Um, I would love to help you out um, with your bikini posing. Um, so I just had just a few um, clients that I've been working with for a while now and seriously looking amazing. I work with first time competitors and also, you know, um, girls that are gonna hit that national stage and want to, you know, go after that pro card and need that posing, you know, perfected. So yeah, if you need help with that, just reach out. Um, and yeah, now I'm about to have a, um, a client phone call. Um, yeah, if you ever like want to work with me um, before, you know, we do it and I say yes and everything and we make it official, I just like to get on the phone uh, just so I can really like better understand their goals and um, and I just want to make sure it's a good fit. You know, I don't just take on anybody. I don't just yeah take on anybody out there like i really do like to get on the phone and make sure that like we're going to be willing to work together and just like we're a good fit and we're going to be a good team so um yeah like if you you know when you send in your application and then you get this email back don't be afraid to you know just schedule the call it's going to be okay um i'm not like <laughs> mean or anything like that like i just want to hear your voice hear your goals and um yeah, see if I, I can even help you out, you know? Um, and that that's really it. So, all right, got a phone call here in like 15 minutes, and then I will have lunch, and then going to hit the gym here soon after. Making some cream of wheat with some ISO. So we got 50 grams of cream of wheat. Put water in there. You want to stir that up. Put in the microwave and eyeball it. So what I do is I put it in the microwave for a little bit and then I like I, I stir it and I kind of keep stirring it, adding in water just to make it more like fluffy in volume and then I'll put just like a little bit of egg whites like 40 grams at the very end put that in there and that like makes it even a little bit more volume bigger and then I usually put some superfoods in there and some maca powder just because I like like superfoods so look like that just stir it this will be my pre-workout. So then it's all fluffy, like so. Oh, geez. So then it gets all fluffed up, those egg whites. And I'll put some ISO in there. Do, 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 do.
from the gym and I'm making a protein shake, just ISO from Core Nutritionals, one scoop and one banana, which was like 100 grams, and then some almond milk and ice, and that's it. Saving some of my carbs and fats for the end of the night because Kyle is going to be cooking some ribs, so saving my fat for that. And post-workout anyway, I just like to get, you know, fast absorbing carbs in me and um, protein too. Okay, Kyle is cooking up some ribs for dinner. And that's Save all my fat. <laughs> yeah, I literally have 44 grams of fat left for my day. Which is for like this. probably only two ribs. <laughs> this is so fatty. Oh my. See that? They're like tender. I, I touched them. They're, They're taking forever. Cooking popcorn. Yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna do like a full day of eating today because my meals have just been like all over the place. Um, like I had a good pre-work, you know, I had a good breakfast. That was structured breakfast. I had a pre-workout meal, a post-workout meal, and then ever since then, it's just been like all over the place. So I'm thinking, um, that Kyle's ribs are definitely throwing me off tonight. So I will continue to like film all the things that I'm eating, but it's just all over the place. Like I did have two Oreos and I didn't film that. And I had a piece of chocolate, I didn't film that. Um, it's intuitive eating. So I will do another video on a full day of eating, but it is kind of a pain to keep throwing out my camera. I'm like, okay, wait, I ate this too.